Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and welcome back to Object Oriented System Analysis and Design video tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about business object analysis concept of software development. Okay, so before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you got some useful and valuable information from this video, then click on like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Now let us come to the today's topic that is business object analysis. So what is this concept? This concept deals about how a software development approach needs to be taken at the very initial stages of software development. What are those things that we need to perform at the very beginning stages of software development? What tools we should use uh, at the time of uh, initial stages of development as well as at the time of uh, designing? All those things uh, we are going to cover in this concept, business object analysis concept. Okay, so here I have listed down the points and with the help of these points, we'll try to understand what is this concept. Okay, now the first point is, it's the process of understanding the system requirements and establishing the goals of our application. Okay, so whenever there is a need of developing a software application or a system, then the very first question that comes to our mind is the requirement. What are the requirements? What client actually wants from us? What features, what functional features client want and what non-functional features client want from us? Okay, so first we need to have a clear cut understanding about the system requirements. System requirements means uh, how the software is going to look like. What will be the features of that application? how the user will going to interact with the system. All this comes under the system requirement and uh, the developer must know about all these things at the very beginning stages of the system development. And who will be providing this information? Client will be giving you the requirements information. When both of us like client and the system analysis will be sitting uh, in front of each other to discuss about the system requirements at that time client will be giving all those information to the system analyst okay and at the very beginning stages also we need to find out the goals of the system that means what we want to achieve with that system okay what are those major features and functionalities that we want in that system all these things we need to analyze and all this analysis comes under business object analysis. Now the second point is the major purpose of this activity is to understand the user requirements. Yes, that's what I told you. Okay, the major purpose of this business object analysis is that we can understand the user requirements. Okay, once the system designer or the developers know what the users want from them, then only they can go for developing a system which can be easily acceptable by the users. Okay, so there are various ways of collecting the user requirements or the system requirements. One of the way I already told you that uh, client only will be giving the system requirements. Okay, and uh, we can go outside and ask the customers okay uh, what are their requirements what kind of applications they want okay we can uh, have we can conduct a session or a uh, meeting where uh, various people can talk about that system and uh, people will be giving different, different suggestions about the system okay so these are the various possible ways by which we can collect the system requirements and the major purpose of this business object analysis is to collect the system requirements next is the objective is to identify classes to make up the system okay so whenever we start developing the system or designing the system uh, and as we know that classes concept is one of the important concept in system development we develop the system based on classes okay we call classes as a template or a blueprint of a system where we depict or demonstrate each and every minute details of the system 
ओके सो एट द वेरी बिगिनिंग स्टेजेस और एट द डिजाइनिंग स्टेजेस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर दो क्लासेस दैट विल कंट्रीब्यूट टू अवर सिस्टम ओके सो इफ वी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम देन वॉट विल बी द क्लासेस ओके देर कैन बी अ क्लास विद अ नेम स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट ओके देर कैन बी अ क्लास विथ अ नेम बोरोवर देर कैन बी एन अनदर क्लास विथ अ नेम सब्जेक्ट देन कोर्स ओके सो दीज आर दीज कैन बी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट क्लासेस एंड इन ईच एंड एवरी ऑफ दीज क्लासेस वी विल बी स्टोरिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन द स्टूडेंट क्लास वी विल बी स्टोरिंग द डिटेल्स रिगार्डिंग द स्टूडेंट all the details about that particular student okay we will be creating uh, data members uh, member functions and we will be creating different uh, uh, private access specifier uh, public uh, access specifier protected access specifier we will be creating those things in the class and uh, we will be storing different information about the student and uh, the details regarding the borrower subject and courses we will be creating or storing in different of uh, different different classes okay so here in business object analysis also the object the of the major objective here is to identify the classes the we can easily identify the classes of that system only when we clearly understand the system only when we have a clear cut understanding about the requirements of the system next to understand the user requirements we need to find out how they uses the system okay yes very simple point okay so if i want to know what is the system requirements then first i need to know who are those users who will be using the system in future okay so once i know all those things then i can get those people to collect the requirements more and more requirements because those are the end users right and uh, there is no other person better than the end users who will be giving me the better information about the system okay so with this approach also i can get the better understanding about the system requirements then the next point is these can be accomplished using use cases okay so use cases is a very important uh, tool in system development okay i have made a different video where i have discussed everything about use cases so if you didn't watch that video uh, then i just recommend you guys to watch that video as well and you can find that video in the same playlist okay so use cases are one of the tools of uml unified modeling language okay and uh, it's a graphical tool with this use case diagram i can represent the interaction between the system and the user okay so with this i will come to know with the use case i will come to know what actions user will be going to perform with the system and what responses system will going to return to the user okay so this use case diagram is very helpful or very handy to understand the system requirements now the next is domain users and experts may provide better information on the proposed system okay proposed system is a system which we are planning to develop existing system is a system which already existed okay uh, so uh, who will be giving us the better information about the proposed system which we want to provide which we want to develop domain users domain users are those users who will be working under that environment okay uh, yes suppose some uh, suppose a customer is asking me to develop a system uh, and tomorrow he will be using that system in his or her office then those people those office people who will be in future using that system those people will be the domain users okay i can ask the requirements from those users and experts okay those tomorrow who will be using the system those people also uh, can give me the information about the proposed system next during development the focus should be done on what must be done of uh, must be done instead of how it should be okay how it should be done so what this point says is during the development at the time of development the focus always should be given on what to be developed at the very initial stages i am talking okay once you have a complete list of what you want to develop okay then you can think of how you can develop that 
particular feature okay so initially at the very initial stages you need to focus on what must be done what are those things you need to develop then later on in next stages you can work on how these features needs to be developed another way of system requirement is preparing prototype of the user interface okay yes it is one of the important point okay so here what they are saying one of the uh, important method of understanding the system requirement is through the prototype okay i have made a different video on prototype uh, which i have where i have discussed everything about system prototyping if you guys have not seen that video then i just recommend you guys to watch that video as well and you can get that video in the same playlist okay so what is prototype prototype is uh, like a demo okay so it can be a virtual demo or it can be a physical uh, model okay uh, that physical or that virtual model will give you uh, the complete information about the proposed system okay uh, what is the what will be the design of that system then uh, what will be different features of that system uh, and uh, how users will going to interact with the system all those things we will come to know with the help of the prototype so this prototype at the very initial stages of the system development is very helpful to understand the system requirements and how the interactions will going to be between the system and the user next prototype provides a better understanding of how the system will be used so that's what i told you okay so once we develop the prototype then that provide then that prototype will give me the better understanding about how i should use that system okay so this business object analysis concept is all about understanding the system understanding the system requirements of the system what will we, what are those tools that can be used to understand the system requirements at the very initial stages of the system development okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys have understood this concept so if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section thanks for watching